Hello dear ones, I am sending this video out as today's a very special day in the dream spell Mayan calendar. It is Pakal Votan's Mayan sign. So this dude was a Mayan king who got onto the throne at like 12 or 13 and reigned for like 60 years and allegedly it's like during his lifetime that all of the Mayan inscriptions around time were recorded. Now obviously that's really significant for all of this. And I've always thought that, like, the image that I've seen of the carvings of him and what Jose looked like, the guy that brought through the dream spell, were very, very similar. Um, but yeah, so on this king's tomb, there were 13 Mayan signs that are known as the 13 clear signs of Pakal Votan. And these are very, very powerful days for many different reasons. And, you know, this is always the case with the Mayan dream spell stuff because it's about interpretation through our experience, through our lives, through what is being revealed through our lives at this time that it's not like, oh yeah, they said that it meant that. You know, it's like, this is a key day. Open your eyes and see what's there, see what's happening. And I know for me, like, I'm in a massive death process. Um, I feel like we all are really being purged at the minute. It's like the purge of the ego. We're really you know, the different facets of how the ego manifests for, like, through masculine energy and through feminine energy, and I don't mean that in a gendered way, you know, there's just, like, there's so much, and the thing that's really, really been echoing for me is this energy of the feminine, the feminine, intuitive, messy, emotional, flow that is you know part of the human evolution journey has been written out you know from if you look at Christianity you, know, you look at the Abrahamic creation story that the white man's world you know is modeled from it was Eve that was the naughty one that fucked everything up she forced Adam to commit the original sin and then fast forward and we've got Jesus and Jesus then being, you know, in our awareness as this like singular enlightened being. But then you've got the scrolls that were discovered that had multiple other accounts of that time that didn't make the cut for the final draft or the published version of the Bible. And all of these other accounts are about f females. They're about feminine energy. They're about actual women. And the Mary Magdalene as Jesus's lover and counterpart. And her teachings really reveal the ego. She mapped out the ego. Jesus's side was about the heart. You know, and obviously there were lots of other teachings and they came and melded wonderfully together. But this like feminine peace for us all that we really don't want to look at, you know, this manifestation of feeling, you know, and how messy and unlinear and difficult to process and awful it is there's also a truth and a wisdom. And I really feel that this is what this time 
on the earth is pushing us toward it's like we have to we have to really create space we have to create space and be in integrity and commit you know to doing whatever it takes and I know how hard it is at the minute like and I know how confusing it is and I know how much of a head fuck and a heartbreak and a everything it is it's like we are being pushed to our limits because you know there's this new world that has to be born but we have to rewrite the codes we have to rewrite you know we've got to heal ourselves enough to be supported we've got to really move into that space of like being able to open our hearts and you know our egos are holding on for dear life because there's this huge fear of oblivion but we've just got to go through it and the next wave spell is really going to highlight that so just be aware of what's going on today um i'm just going to check actually the so yeah it's the 28th of may thursday the 28th of may today so yeah um see what's going on for you it might not resonate with you know what's going on for me i just felt to share that um but this is a very 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 key day so i'm sending you lots of love and lots of blessings and i hope that you are unraveling you know as <laughs> gently as possible in these times and i send you lots and lots of love from you know the pit of it all, we're in it together. <laughs>